So we're going to end our journey here, the other end of Belfort. We have kind of been here a little bit, we went to the football stadium yesterday, that was the big meal of course that we featured in that drone footage yesterday. But just the other side of it where we've not been yet, there's something called River Gardens. So we're going to have a little look around there and see what else is about over this side because we've not been here yet. So look, it says River Gardens, there's another mill, a couple of mills actually. So that's where we're going to go. So here we are, Belfort River Gardens entrance. You can imagine, can't you, back in the day when this was a thriving hub of activity, work. Now it's just derelict, sitting here doing nothing. But it is a wonderful building. But this is the River Gardens, which all looks rather cool, doesn't it? an ice cream man if you fancy an ice cream well kept as most things are around here actually they do spend a lot of money making the place look nice and there it is there Belfort River Gardens so this is the river Certainly a big fellow, isn't he? He's not exactly shy either, is he? I think he wants to come and say hello. Hello! So there's a few boats here. A bit like a lot of things here at the minute. Nothing seems to be actually open. So they've got the boats here, but you can't actually take them out. And they've got some swans over there as well, pedal boats. But they've got these rowing boats here, which actually would be really good, wouldn't it? Imagine taking them boats out across this river. That'd actually be really cool. But you can't because as you can see there the little hut is shut so like most things seem to be around here at the minute it's shut it must be out of season even though it's may bank holidays and here are the swans look at them some of these blue boats they're pedal boats as well look at them they look a little bit um, as though they've been stuck here for ages don't they or watering them not being used such a shame would like to have taken some out so you've got a little tea room there, but that's buzzing during the summertime, sitting out there overlooking the lake. It'd be really good. So what we are going to actually do, we're going to see if we're going to get the drone up just over the river. I think it will look quite good. We got a little bit of the river yesterday, but we were miles away when I took the drone up yesterday evening, um, which we put a little bit of that footage at the end of the grassroots football journeys, but this time, I want to get the drone up over the river here a bit closer. We can get some better views, see a few ducks. And yeah, should be quite good. So stick with us because this is going to be something worth watching.
So we're just going to walk back along this way, alongside this little part of the lake. Everything seems well maintained here. Oh, definitely. Yeah. They spend a lot of money at the council, so you know whatever your council tax costs in Belfort, it's definitely a lot more value it seems than in a lot of other places. We don't seem to keep anything very tidy, but they do around here. It's really nice. Let's pretend we're in the 1940s or 1950s. We was going to work, and this is where you'd come across. You'd come across here, all this machinery here for the mill, and then you'd walk up here to the main entrance, and then you'd go in. You'd go in here, and there was an entrance there for visitors. It'd be great to get inside, wouldn't it? but I don't think they'll allow it. So now around here, you've got the North Mill. That, that was the East Mill, but it does look incredible. But look, imagine, imagine when this was a working mill. So this is Belfort High Street with all the shops. It's the difference between the sort of modern Belfort and the old fashioned Belfort. It's got a little bit of both, but obviously the modern shops and stuff. It's definitely very nice. It's definitely very peaceful and friendly clean. and clean. Yeah, clean is, is what it is. It's a nice place to visit. There's lots of things to do. Oh so come along so the final bit of our journey is to come back and we're going to come in the back way this time we're normally going the front way on the main street but we're going to come in the back way and this is a golden gate which is quite difficult to open and then come up the path a little patio table that we've got the lights out in the garden and then we come in through the green door. Just want to say what a lovely little cottage this is, by the way. It's beautiful. You've got a little downstairs bit, and then you open this door, and it actually takes you up the stairs to the bedroom. The only thing that's a bit weird, and if you do ever stay here, and I recommend that you do. The only thing that's a little bit weird is the only bathroom toilet is actually downstairs here next to the kitchen, which is slightly weird, especially if you have to get up in the night for a wee. You have to come downstairs and risk your life coming down in the stairs. But other than that, everything else is really cool. And it's a beautiful little little cottage. And it's been a great time staying here. Oh, it has. 